That's a good cup of coffee right there. That's what I call a good cup of joe. Nice and toasty. Oh, oh. A little hot. Oh, I have no idea what was in that coffee. Oh. Oh, it feels like my stomach is on fire. Oh, what is happening? Oh, God. Oh. Oh, this isn't going to end well. No. Oh. Much better. Excuse me. Hello everybody, welcome back to Hermitcraft. My name is Volcanic Bowelman, and I'm here to build some stuff today. <laughs> welcome back, guys. Uh, the cup of coffee, yes, a tasty treat from Impulse. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's kind of an obstruction here, uh, both to our build and to my butt, so it's got to come out. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing here today, is taking this thing down here. I already took all the emeralds out. There were 64 plus 8, uh, carry the 6. Yeah, there were some emeralds in there. Uh, and I'm happy. I'm happy because, uh, oh, 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 got to be careful here. Got to be careful here. Breaking the, breaking the delicate environment here. Oh, oh, oh. The server's been having all kinds of issues lately, like major lag issues. Uh, I don't even know which way this goes here. Let me clear out the rest of this iron here and I'll figure it out. Yeah, the server's been having some big issues. Like, I don't know if you saw from the other hermits. We had, uh, we kind of made an attempt to go to 1.9, and that was just a catastrophic failure. We had to roll it back. Everything was messed up. But uh, our base here is is got issues or something. We had, they had to roll back. Azuma had to roll back, like, one chunk in the nether, and it was happened to be the chunk that our base is in. I don't know, or a series of chunks, I should say, and one of them is the one our base is in. I don't know if it's our base causing it. I don't, I'd like to think it's not. I don't know what we're doing that would cause it, but... Oh, hello there, beacon of... Hello. And, uh, yeah, so it's bad, but the problem is, when he rolled it back, all the banner work I did last episode, in the nether there, yeah, it's gone. It's gone. I'm back to the old ugly T. Now I gotta make those banners again. I'm quite upset. I'm quite upset by that, so that's gonna take some time, blah, blah, blah. These are the things you have to deal with, you know? Alright, where does this, where does these stairs go? Uh, I did this pattern like a year ago, so you carry that, da, 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 and then one right, mm, there we go. Perfect. Done. All right. <laughs> Coffee cup is coming out. I'm going to finish this up here. I've got something I want to do today in here, though, that, uh, that I think you guys might like. I'm honestly not even sure how I want to do it. Here, here's the general idea, okay? I want to do a little bit of work around this ring here, on the top ring. I'm not going to do the ceiling because Impulse is going to do that. If you watched his previous video, he mentioned how he's got that coming up and he's got plans for it and everything. But I want to do something like, you see that, like, purple or light blue clay there. I want to send that all the way around, and then I want to put lanterns, like like uh, redstone lanterns, like a couple there maybe, and then like a couple sprinkled in here, and keep it going all the way around. And then I want to hook it up to a daylight sensor, and I want to make this whole room, that whole ring, kind of be like a big redstone clock. So let me figure out how it's going to work. I'm going to tear this thing down. And figure out how we're going to do this and what ways I want to do it. Because there's a couple of, little, couple of little different directions I can go here. But we'll see. Let me clean this up and we'll get back. And hopefully I'll explain a little bit more of my thoughts. All right. Flaming coffee cup of doom has been removed. Things are back to the normal self. Uh, I got to fix the water streams up there. Because there's a little bug in my design up there I need to fix. About how the, uh, the clock up there kind of freezes sometimes. So I might address that later this episode. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, but all right. So my thoughts for this. Like I said, I kind of eluded to a little bit. Uh, I want to get lights going all around, like sitting on top of that quartz ring. I'm going to have all, all that color clay, I don't know what it is, I'm going to call it light purple for now, going all the way around, but lights in between them and stuff. And I want to, my so my original goal was I wanted to make it a clock, like actually have it like go all the way around, you know, complete circle, and when the circle ended, the day was done. Like just linear track around, like nothing, you know, just completely fine. But the problem is there's really no way to, like, at least that I know. Maybe I'm missing something. There's no easy way. Man, there are fireworks going off. Did you guys hear that? There are fireworks. My neighbors are lighting off fireworks. It's New Year's Eve. <laughs> there's, like, crazy booms going on. Anyway, uh, so there may be some random explosions that are uh, not coffee butt-related in the rest of this episode. <laughs> so my plans originally, like I said, I wanted to make a clock that just went all the way around the room. But to my knowledge, there's no way to just get, like, the hour of the day. Like, there's daylight sensors, but that just gives you kind of, like, 
kind of the time of day, but not in a, you know, like you get full 15 power, like way more often than like, say three power. And it's just, it's just not a linear progression through the day. More explosions. Uh, and I was thinking, you know, like, why doesn't, why doesn't this work? Let's see if I can do it here without messing up. Like if I put this guy here and that guy there, and then why can't I do that? You dig? I mean, I know they got the rotation thing in there and that like, that kind of reads the one out, you know, different, uh, I think there's like eight different. Yeah. Because there's eight different angles. You get like a signal of one to eight, I think. Uh, but you know what? I'd like to see that overridden for a clock and instead give me like one sixteenth, like a linear progression through the day. That would be, that would be a nice feature. I don't know. Mojang, you know, if you're going to add use the fireworks. Hello server. The lag is ridiculous now. Like I can't even like open chests and stuff. This is going to be an interesting episode to record. Uh, so anyways, in lieu of that, I think what I'm going to, because I was originally going to do like crazy timing systems where each quadrant was uh, controlled by, oh, the villagers are out checking out what's going on. <laughs> what's all the noise? <laughs> I was going to have each quadrant, like, controlled by, like, a hopper timer system so that, like, one carried off and ended and rolled into the next and stuff. And I realized, no, that's dumb because if I log out and log in, it's a different time of day, but the hoppers are going to be at the same time. So that's just a big old mess. That doesn't work. So I think what I'm going to end up with is something much simpler. Uh, have a daylight sensor, like, up there somewhere and just have the lights be symmetrical. So, like, when it's completely dark outside and the, and the power off of a daylight sensor is zero. There'll be no lights on. And then as the day gets brighter on both sides, so like going this way, growing out that way, and on this side, growing out that way, the lights will expand around the room and then they'll meet right there above the storage room when it's like full bright, you know, noon or whatever it is or whatever you get a 15 power signal off of the, uh, the daylight sensor. I think that'll be kind of interesting. It'll still get the, the point across. You'll be able to still be in here and know whether it's daytime or nighttime or what. I mean, we got our little our little fireplace down here. This guy's hooked up to, uh, he turns on, I don't remember what I did. I think he turns on at nighttime automatically. So it is nighttime right now. Let me actually go see if that's working here. Let me spin up top here. Cleaned up most of the prank stuff here, just the, the pathway here. There's no way we're getting rid of that guy. No way. Uh, oh, it's daytime. Hmm. I wonder if that's, I wonder if that is not working. Interesting. Now, I know there's been, like, some, like, Impulse has been having a lot of problems with daylight sensors, and there's reports there's been bugs and stuff, but I'm going to pretend that's not the case, and I'm going to move forward. If I run into it, I'll run into it this episode. Don't care. I just want to, because eventually they'll fix it. You know, eventually they'll fix it and have it work the right way. So let me get some preliminaries in here. I kind of already started to dig a little bit of hole up there. Let me, maybe I'll get the purple in, and then I'll start figuring out where we're going to put the lamps. Oh man. All right, so I got I got most of the light blue clay in, okay? And I'm up here clearing out a little bit more area on top of Impulse's saloon and I try to kill myself. And listen. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? Yeah. I got I got this lava. Like right here, like right here, lava, right there, La yeah, bad, <laughs> can you imagine, like one stray poke with this pick and yeah, his whole saloon is gonna be done, <laughs> gonna be toasted, so... I, that's gonna happen one day or another and I don't like that, I wanna go find out where that is, so... What I'm going to do is, how should I do that? I think very carefully, like right here, I'm going to go up there and start digging around. Let me see if I can find this thing. I got a, I got a uh, stack of sand on me here. Give me some cobble on my bar here. Just going by sound here. No, oh man, I gotta be care. I gotta be careful here. I need to have. Okay, you know what? Let me let me do this the safe way. And if I come back crying, you'll know what happened. <laughs> Lava hunting, we go. Oh, it sounds close. 
I'm also hitting clay right here, though. Can lava be in clay? Apparently it can. Wow. Okay. Let's head up here. Try and get above it. And I'm going to try and drop some sand on this stuff. Wow, that's the seal. That's the nether, the sky right there. What the heck? I know you're right here. Where are you? There you are. Oh, okay. Sand time. How big is this? cobble over there and everything. Oh man, I don't like the way this looks. I am nervous dealing with this. Maybe I should just leave this here. I probably should. Oh, it looks pretty big. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, it goes way back there. Okay. How deep is it? Let's see here. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. How about in the middle? Oh, it's pretty shallow. Okay. What? Hello? <laughs> Magic sand! Now with floating technology. Uh, how are we looking? Okay. Alright, I can I can deal with this. I'm gonna fill this all in here. Whoop, whoop, whoop! <laughs> Thankfully there was some server lag there. You know what? Let's let's just go right ahead and uh drink a tasty little beverage here. <laughs> Alright, let me fill all this in and assuming there's no Catastrophe, we will move on. Mmm, toasty. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, the lava crisis has been <laughs> resolved. I am back to planning my lights now. So here's my here's my kind of current thought here. I want to, like I said, I want the lights to go from dark there to lighting up all the way up top over there. So that's like noon, and when nothing's lit up, it's, you know, middle of the night. So I'll probably want to get one right dead center there. And given that we want to go halfway across the room and that's power 15 redstone signal, that means I got to get an eight right there. Okay. So if I get like, right. Okay. And I want to think, I'm thinking of doing like some on the sides, like on either side, like above these columns here. So it'll be one, two. And then there'll be one there, three and four. So I need to get four more in here. So like one, two, yeah, right. So it'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then repeat the process over here with the exact same pattern. We'll take me 15 dead center there. I think that'll do it. So what we're going to do is we're doing a lot of like little tricks with comparators and blocks here to keep the signal extended. So one redstone signal of length 15 is going to just barely end up over there, if that makes sense. You know, we're going to like compare it into blocks with single dust. I'll show you all that in a second. So let me get the, yeah, let me get the lamps in. And I think I want to do a little bit more quartz work on these guys here. And we'll take a look and see how it feels. Okay. So I got two different ways of splitting these lights up here. Let's see if I did it right. Let me hop down here. This, so I definitely like the, the three lights above like that. Like that looks pretty good to me. Adds a little bit more bulk to the top frame with some, uh, with some stairs up there. I kind of like that. And then this is kind of option one here with the four lights in the middle in the blue. There are like two there and two there. Uh, this is impulses thing. He got, a, he had it a little like up top there to make it kind of like go up and over there. Uh, but we're working with it. We're working with it. It's not a problem. And I like the variation. And then this is another one I just tried. And I'm actually thinking I like this one better. Uh, the difference between this one and that one is like those two, they're kind of tight and tight right there. This one, they feel a little bit more evenly spaced, even though they're probably not. But looking this over, I think I'm going to go with this one here. But which one do you guys think? Do you guys like just say close lights or spread lights or whatever? Leave a comment. Let's, let me know which one you think looks better, but I think I'm going to go with spread lights, but it would be easy to change back to close lights. I wish I could fit more lights, honestly, but really there's no point to it. Cause again, there's only, there's only 15 levels of redstone signal that I got to carry from, uh, where is it? 
from here, that's one, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to go with that. Let me uh, finish this process up over here, and we'll get started with the redstone. Okay, so all the lights are in, and the archways are updated. This guy over here, because he's got the little waterfall here, I didn't completely update him, because to do so would have caused a water block, or a block update. Where's that zombie coming from? A zombie hiding somewhere. Would have caused a block update, and would have screwed up our whole water thing. So I got to redo these waterfalls. I want them all to look like this one right here. Uh, and I'm going to get to that real soon, I think, especially now that we're getting a little bit more. I don't know. I may wait till Impulse is done with the ceiling, though, because that may mess him up. He, he may need to put some blocks down and stuff. So we're going to get to that soon, though. Uh, all right. So the redstone for how this works. So as most of you know, I'm sure a daylight sensor is going to give off a variable strength redstone signal from 0 to 15, depending on the time of day and light and all that stuff. So uh, when it's a, giving off a, a when it's nighttime and giving off a strength 0, Every, all the lights are going to be off. As it starts to brighten, that one will come on when it's a strength 1. That one will come on when it's a strength 2. That one will come on when it's a strength 3, and so on. So what we're going to need to do is actually carry a, sig a an individual, a single redstone signal. Like, from there to there, it's got to be like a, a strength 1 to a 2. But that's obviously, what, like 5 blocks there. So there's going to be some tricks we're going to need to do, though. And I want to show you... Before we get up there in all the tight quarters and stuff, I want to show you how that's going to work. So, step into my little redstone laboratory here. <laughs> I, did, I probably need, like, a good flat place to just work. Uh, all right, so I'm setting this up here just as, like, a quick way to get a, a variable redstone signal here. So, let's see. I can spam some redstone down here. You can see it's, if I do it, like, there, it's a signal length 1. Twist it one more, it's a signal length 2. Twist it one more, it's a signal length 3. You get the idea. So let me put it on signal length one here, okay? And a couple little tricks you can do here, which, you know, again, most of you probably know this. I just want to go over it. Uh, let's see, blocks, redstone, and comparators. Okay, so there's a couple things you can do here. Uh, first of all, a comparator will always output the same signal strength that it inputs. So this guy's outputting a one into this guy. He feeds out a one. So that's one way to carry the signal right there. So the, you know, the most straightforward way is to just... Spam comparators down, not on subtract mode. Um, and it should... Right, okay, so it's still got a 1 coming out there. Okay, but that's expensive to do that. So instead, you can do a lot of tricks with, like, blocks and stuff. So, for instance, if I put a block there, and then put a dust there, that's going to be a signal length 1. As you can see, that dust is off. And then I can do things like put a block there, okay? So that block is weakly powered right now, and I can pull that signal off with another comparator now and you can see even out here now I still have a signal length one okay so if I drag this around a little bit it's, it's coming out of one there if I twist it one more now it's a two so using this kind of pattern here of blocks with individual dust uh, with another block to pick it up and then finally another comparator is generally the pattern I'm gonna do going around here to carry the signal length uh, and it can go around corners and stuff too so you can you can bend it like this and, you know, do things like, do things like this as well. Uh, get rid of you. So you can see, like, even here I'm at, why is that a two? Why is that a two? What am I doing wrong? That should be a one carried. Oh, because I'm on two. <laughs> yeah, I, I turned it on two. Anyways, you can see you can go around corners and stuff. Idiot. Uh, so let me do some of that. I'll probably do like one quadrant up there and then show you how it works and get the get the uh, daylight sensor up there too. And dig the hole. Eh. Ugh. Wow, that took a lot longer than I expected. But I got the first half in. So it starts over there. You can see the lights are lit up all the way up to there. Kind of waiting for a change in time of day. Now. Make it happen now. No. Okay, I guess not. Uh, anyway, it's on that level. We'll, we'll check to see if it changes. Uh, but yeah, I'm okay with putting blocks. So yeah, I'm trying to be conscious of where the ceiling is going to go here and all this and not try to obstruct the, the flexibility of the ceiling. I'm okay with putting blocks on top of all the purple and the lights here. But then over here, I try to leave like a block back off the lights there so that we can put the wall like set back a little bit. And that took a little bit extra 
uh, whatever shenanigans up there. But let me show you how this is working here up top here. Again, it's it's kind of tight and messy back there. But all right, so we got our daylight sensor right here. Mm. Daylight signal comparator. So again, as soon as it's a one, that first light's going on. Okay, comparator is going to carry the length, and then right here, anytime. What we're basically looking for is places where there's two redstone dust in a row together. That's where you're always going to like have the one level of deterioration. So that's where the level of fall off or whatever you want to call it is there. Comparator dust into this guy, which will light that guy, this guy, and then there's our two dust there. Carrying along, this is all still the same signal. There's our two dust there. Each, each one of these two dust uh, places is where we lose one signal length strength, which is exactly what we need. So right there, and then where did I lose it? Uh, right there, yep. And then, yeah, like I said, back here, I was try I tried to keep all the redstone in the back there. So we got like a little this guy here. So when the, uh, where's my blocks? Where's my blocks? When the power comes in here, it powers into this block, which will power down into that guy. When I put a block right here, which I'm about to, that dust down there becomes just a dot, which powers this and into the light. So that works good. I had to take out the water over here because, yeah, I did a block update. Blech, water spewed everywhere. So I'm going to come back and do all the water later. Uh, but this is generally the idea here now, and it does not seem to be moving along. We've been on this one for a while, I think, right? Yeah, we've been on the first one there. So, uh, all right, what I'm going to do now is repeat the process over on this side, and then I'm thinking what I want to do is hook it up to, like, instead of obviously waiting for a daylight center, hook it up to, like, a really quick, like, hopper or something just so we can see in real time the lights light up. Like, I'll hook it up to a hopper clock, probably light up, and then fall back down. Or I don't know. I'll figure something out. But let me get this side done, which is just going to be a mirror of that side. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful. We are done. All the lights are in. They're all wired up. Everything should be done. And let me show you what I got up here as, like, a little testing thing. I got a just a kind of standard etho hopper clock up here. And what I'm going to do is put... 80 snowballs in this guy and read off of this uh, hopper right here with a comparator line dumping right there. So my daylight sensor normally would have been right there instead. So this will simulate it. And uh, what that comparator right there is going to do is basically read a signal of zero up to uh, full and then all the way back down to zero. And it's going to kind of oscillate on that. And that'll kind of simulate a really fast daylight uh, sensor. So... Let's go ahead and put the items in and see what it looks like. Testing it out here for the first time. I haven't really... All right. You can see it's just starting out there. Cool. At least they are synchronized, it looks like. There's a little delay there. Boom, boom. Oh, wait. Yep. Crap. Okay. That one looks a little fast right around... Right in that ballpark there. Let me let me hop up there and see if I can see if I can figure out what it is. I don't think it's there. All right, so that guy is there. So there, where's the delay between? Oh, there isn't one. Okay, right. Uh, should be able to just take this guy out right there. Do that. All right, that should fix it. <laughs> Science is happening right before your eyes. Okay. Now, you know what? Let me do this. There's a crazy idea. Uh, FOV. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> I'm doing this so that I can see more of the uh, more of the lights at the same time. All right, so we're starting over now. One, two, three, four, five. There's a little delay on that there for some reason. Six. Watching the edges, seven. Oh, spin around. Who's got a headache? <laughs> People actually play like this. That's crazy. Good, good. 13, 14, 15. Boo. And then it should start repeating and falling back as the items just basically fall back into the other hopper up there in the, in the hopper clock. All right, I will not subject you guys to that nonsense much longer and I think we're working here I like it so yeah we got nighttime 
daytime and the two sides meet over here. I really like this. Pretty cool stuff. All right, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm, I'm once the ceiling is in, this place is really going to be coming together. I really like this little extra touch, though. Little, little daylight, time of day kind of thing. Tell you what time it is. Pretty cool. <laughs> I need to do some redstone. It was, it's been a while. I feel like I've been doing a lot of building. Uh, all right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Uh, I got to say, though, I am itching to do another quadrant soon. So I know I've asked like a thousand times, but one more time, if you guys have ideas for what I should build in these quadrants here, uh, I'm still completely undecided. I'm still looking for that really good idea. And if uh, if it hits me, you know, I'm, I'm jumping on board. So if you got a good idea for the quadrants here, let me know and I will definitely tackle it. I'd like to hear your, your thoughts on that. Uh, all right, that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching so much, and uh, see you guys next time. Later. Welcome back to Hermitcraft. My name is Volcanic Bowel Syndrome Man.